Hey everyone, today I've got a little uh, mind hack for you. Um, legit, this, I'm totally serious when I say that laughter is one of my key metrics in organisational transformation. Um, now I know a lot of what a lot of you are thinking. Um, you know, that's, that's far too relaxed. If people are giggling too much in the office, they clearly can't be doing work. Well, I'm here to tell you that actually it's a key indicator that your team is being innovative, creative, um, and that you're actually headed along the right track. So there's a couple of couple of things wrapped up in this. Um, I think you understand by now that I'm a firm believer that transformational change is non-linear. It's not something that we can take step by step and get to the outcome. It's just, it's just not the way it works, whether that's transformation within ourselves um, or transformation of our organizations. It just doesn't work that way. And so the part of the reason why I use laughter as a key metric is because firstly, it means you're getting out of survival mode. So when people are giggling, when people are laughing, you're engaging the more creative side of your brain. It's something that we don't do when we are literally running from tigers. Don't get the giggles. Um, and so that the, the first piece is around the you, you're not in survival mode if you're laughing. If you're enjoying yourself, if you're in that mode, if your team's in that mode, um, you're outside of that survival space. Uh, and that comes through in our physiology as well. So um, the physical act of laughing, the way that your body moves, is actually part of the release of stress. So the, the physical release of energy that's getting caught in your body, that can come through in laughter. Um, now, for those of you that know that I'm doing the trauma-informed uh, movement facilitator training, we spent a lot of time going through the stress cycle and, and ways to get stress out of your body, ways to get rid of that energy. And so when we talk about um, you know, trauma, we talk about energy getting caught. It's getting caught in a cycle and we're not able to release that. And, and then our response to that um, is is what's what's causing a lot of the um, discomfort in our system, for lack of a better word. And so laughter, because you're physically moving, is actually a really, really great way to get rid of that stress, to shake it out, to get rid of that tension, to get rid of that energy that's getting caught in your body. And so particularly if you've got a team that's working on a, a fairly intense project, um, if you've got a tight time frame, if you've got a set of deliverables, that laughter is key to closing the cycles, to getting that energy out of your body, and, and there's physical benefits that come with doing that. Um, it's, it's also a reset for your brain. So you're able to expel that energy. Your brain starts to go into a slightly more relaxed mode. So we talk about that move from sympathetic nervous system, which is about all that voluntary action of running from tigers, um, that, that stress response into your parasympathetic nervous system, which is about relaxation, digestion. Um, it's, it's the come down after the fight or flight. And it's way too easy in the office for us to be constantly stuck in that fight or flight mode, right? To be constantly amped up with too much coffee, too many meetings, and just a, a cycle in the office that continues to escalate all of our stress hormones. Laughter is actually going to help you to release that. So I wanted to share that. It's a little bit cheeky, but honestly, if you've got giggling going on in your organization, that's a great sign that you're on the right track because it means that people are getting out of their stress response. They're getting out of survival mode. They're releasing endorphins. They're releasing energy out of their bodies. They're physically moving and expelling that stuff that's getting caught up. And ultimately, that's going to mean higher performance because we're better. We've got a greater capacity for new information coming in, we're able to cycle through um, cycle through our stuff and move on to the next thing without getting bogged down in the baggage of carrying all of that weight of information and all of that weight of stress with us constantly. Um, and it's just a way more fun place to be. So that's your homework for this week is to go out and start to measure laughter in your organization. Just watch for a week. Take five days and keep an eye out for the giggling and the laughter. How often is it happening? How often is it not happening? 
I've worked in offices where I don't hear boo from people all day. That terrifies me because that leads me to believe that I have a whole bunch of people who are completely stressed out, totally tunnel visioned, their, their stress hormones are through the roof, and I know they're not being creative because all of that means that we are stuck in this mode of just hanging on to survive rather than expelling a little bit of excess energy and having that time and that space and that creativity to pause for a moment, look around and smell the roses. And out of that comes the innovation. That's where you get the creativity. That's where you get the free association. That's where people have the space to start to make sense of the information that's coming in and start to put together um, new ideas, new imagery, new words and meaning that help you to accelerate your learning process in the organization. So I hope wherever you are in the world today, you're having an awesome, awesome day. Go out there and laugh, and I will see you again very, very soon.